Hello, we're doing some tips and I've got my very good friend and co-international speaker, Lee Warren, also an award-winning author. We've both got our books with us today. Look, I can't resist introducing us, Lee, um, in our tip series. But today, <laughs> we're giving you tips on how to look good on video, look good, sound good, and deliver good virtual meetings. But what I've realized is that when you're doing a one-to-many meeting, like a town hall, or maybe you're speaking, uh, it's like a big staff meeting, but you've got quite a lot of interaction and you want to engage with your audience, it's quite tricky, isn't it, Lee? When you're doing your keynote or a masterclass, there might be 100 people on the call. What do you do about it? How can you get the most out of your audience? Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. And there's, there's only a certain amount of attention anyone can give um, uh, during a, a presentation so particularly when you've got you know when you're the, ho the, the 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 main person in the presentation or you're running a bid or you're holding the meeting I think a really easy way to to reduce your stress levels is to get hold of a um, what you might call a co-host I know you like calling it a co-pilot or a glamorous um, someone... assistant <laughs> 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 glamorous perfectly put glamorous assistant um but the, that person's role is not to be if you like the presenter in any way it's not stressful for them in that way but their role is to first of all look after the the tech so make sure that the tech's working make sure that you you, you know you're visible um secondly to look at the questions and the chat that's going on so to pull out bits of that that are interesting and if you go into a q a section later it's much easier to turn to your co-pilot and say are there any questions because they can then pick out the best ones you're not having to read them as you go and also um depending again on how serious the, the 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 meeting is or the presentation is they can even have a separate channel open to all the attendees so like a whatsapp channel or a private message channel so if the tech fails for somebody or suddenly somebody can't hear they can deal with the co-host rather than derailing your your presentation so it really takes the stress off you and lets you focus on 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 your bit uh, to the be you know to the best of your ability and also, if you want to have slides or you're doing some kind of presentation, people still really want to see you speaking. If you're the, the main host, they don't just want to look at slides and hear your voice. They really want to engage with you. And if you're looking at the camera, then your cognitive activity is doing that job. Plus, you may be um, doing some slides. And so, again, that's two things, looking at the camera and doing slides. The last thing you want to be doing then is kind of checking the chat and checking what's going on behind the scenes. So having a co-pilot or glamorous assistant, somebody who's there go, so, so Lee, what questions are coming in now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. And I, I mean, I learned this really quickly in, in virtual presenting because I said something in a keynote and somebody typed in the chat bar. I don't agree with that at all. Dot, dot, dot. And that's all my mind could think about. When I read the chat back later, he was actually making a joke. It was a, it was a joke I'd made about a wedding and he was making a joke about his own wedding. Yeah. But of course, my, my brain was immediately thinking, oh my God, my audience disagrees with me. What have I said that's wrong? And I couldn't, it, it threw me for about a few minutes really. Yeah, um, and, and had I had a co-host, that wouldn't have happened. Absolutely. Exactly the same happened to me. I put the chat box near the camera so I could quickly glance down just if I was asking a quick fire question. So what do you think of that? Yes or no? And then I could see that there was a, there was a few yeses and nos coming in, but then there were a few comments, but they, they were, you're right. They were actually commenting on something that somebody else had said, not on something I had said. And it was something a little bit aggressive. And I thought, oh no, oh no, I've offended my audience. But actually, that's really bad because the whole reason why you're doing a virtual presentation is so you're engaging with your audience. You don't really want to be getting the wrong feedback um, back to you. So having somebody there just to make sure that everything is covered and also the good questions, they're going to be sharing the good answers, the good questions, the salient points with you is really, really handy. So the tip today, get yourself a glamorous assistant. <laughs>